What's up? Today, I'm gonna take this piece of coil spring and we're gonna forge a couple knives out of it. I know y'all wanna see knives. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna light this forge, open this up, chop it into two pieces, and then get to work. Ooh, that's some hot shit. This one, I'm around here. This is my hydraulic forging press, and we use that to just kind of give some final squish onto this blade. Of course, the wider this 
flat piece is, the more you can get it to cut. I think you can see that, but I think that's gonna feel good in the hand. It's gonna be kind of soft. They're, the edges are kind of rounded over now. And then back to the anvil here. Now we're gonna shape this around. So I think it's a pretty good shape. I'll squeeze this and then braise that. All right, so I'm uh, still working on these blades. I've got them all to a pretty good state. And take a normalizing a few normalizing heats on the blades and, uh, this one is normalizing now so I'll heat it up to uh, the transformation range or critical temperature pull it out of the fire and then let it cool uh, slowly over here uh, until it's cool and then I'll put it back in I'll do a few different um, I usually do that if about Three times, honestly, that's just what I do. So, well, far of course. Sometimes I grind a lot more than I want to, and that's what I did here. It'll make for a better cutting blade, but here's where we're at. Got a heat treat now. So here I'm on to uh, doing some hand sanding. We're doing some finishing work before I go into um, hardening and tempering mode. But I just use a wood block here, old school. And then I run through all the grits. Try to get about, up to about a 400 grit uh, sandpaper finish before going heat treat. Getting ready to heat treat my blade. I got the blade in the forge. I've got some preheated oil here. I use uh, olive oil for this process. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to heat up this blade here. You, know, you can see it's already getting hot. I'm gonna get it to uh, its non-magnetic state, otherwise known as a critical temperature. Then I'm gonna cool in that oil. So here we go, right into the quench. I'm moving it back and forth so that the oil, because the oil is burning against the sides of the piece, cool faster if I do it this way. All right, so I'm gonna wipe the oil off. I'm gonna check with my file. Yep, definitely. Skates right off of there, so it should be nice and hard. Got the silvery look back. Now I can watch for the color that I need to see here uh, when I know my heat treatment is done. Okay, toaster oven's cooking, 420 degrees. Alright. 
you can see 420 degrees here's my blades I'll have them cooking in here for an hour and then I cooled them and I brought them back in They got a nice bronze, golden bronze color, and that's what I want. It's gonna keep a nice cutting edge. It's gonna be strong. It's very nice. These are gonna do just fine. Next thing I do, next thing we'll do is sharpen them up. Put a nice cutting edge on them. I'm downstairs at my house in my little leather studio. And uh, this is what I use for sharpening right now. Got a few different ways to do it, but I kind of like this thing, the Rooksen Pro knife sharpener. It comes with these uh, sharpening stones. And actually I bought these separately. It comes with stone stones and these are diamond stones. So they go all the way up from, uh, oh, let's see, like a 200 all the way up to a 3000. And here's the piece, clamps onto your table here. And then you can adjust this to set your angle. Typically I use this like digital angle finder here, but the batteries are burned out. So I use between a 15 and a 20 degree angle. I think this is set at about 20 from the last time. What I do is I clamp a file on here at first and I'll go and uh, just start a little edge on here like so. And then you can um, take and flip this over and go to the other side. I typically count the strokes and do equal on both sides. So I start with a file and then I move into these stones. I'm working my way through this. I decided to put it on the edge because it's a little sharper, but Working my way through this with the file. And as soon as I get to a point where I've got, you know, I can feel an edge here, which I'm almost there, then I'm gonna switch up to the diamond stones. All right, so now I've got the first diamond stone on this is a 200 and i'm just basically gonna move this stone along my the, the edge of my blade until i develop a good burr And I just continue to flip over one side to the next and I just try to get I can feel like I got an edge up here I need a little bit more work down here and I just wait till I get this burr uh, running the entire length of the blade and once I get a burr you can feel it with your finger then I'll switch to the next stone all right, so now I've got a really nice edge all the way. When I feel it with my finger, I can feel that there's a burr on there. And so now I'm just gonna switch out. That was a 200. This one's a 500. Just 
And I just try to, you know, make smooth strokes. I drew a little uh, line on the blade with a marker to show me where I'm starting from. So now I'm using a 600. And you can see that I put a Sharpie line on my edge there. So as I... I occasionally will like to do this just to see do I have any low spots? Am I nice and even? And it appears to me that, yeah, it's all good. All right, and this is the final 3,000. Yeah, I think that's pretty sharp. I'm going to put on a little leather strap here in a minute and then uh, probably be just about done. So now I'll just take this little bit of strapping compound on a piece of leather. This one I've been using forever. And I just like get it on there, just rub it onto the leather. This is just your basic strapping compound. I think I got this at Candy Leather for keeping the, my cutting tools sharp. And I just kind of like hold it tight, hold it flat. I'm just trying to take the micro burr off the back side of the, and it's completely to a absolute point in the center of the knife. The strapping compound also will like polish the edge of the blade. And I think you can see Pretty shiny now. Let's see. What does it do? Do we have a shaving knife? I'm gonna say we do. That's super fucking sharp. Look at that. Not bad. This is a pretty, not super thick, but fairly thick piece of leather. What does it do? Whoa. Yeah. It's pretty good. All right. So, here's our finished piece. You can see that the edge is polished and it's very sharp. You can do it too. You can do this entire blade from beginning to end without any power tools at all. Everything I demonstrated on the power hammer can be done with hand hammer and the anvil. All grinding can be done with files or minimal power tools. You can forge this thing completely as thin as you want to shape and then go right into filing and sharpening without having to do any grinding really at all. So here it is. Hope you enjoyed the video. Get out there and make something. Over and out.